welcome once again to my youtube channel this is reflex image if this is your first time visiting don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon if you have any question you can contact me if you find this video quite educating enough please kindly share with your friends drop a like and also do comment because it helps my video to actually rank very well on the youtube algorithm so with no further ado let's jump into action so in this video i'll be showing you how to actually create your own action so firstly what are actions in photoshop actions are pre-recorded steps uh they are the steps you actually take while actually editing a picture in photoshop or, or editing a document in photoshop but there are tips and tricks to it also so many people actually thought many people have actually came across many photographers have actually came across they only think uh actions are just for retouchings alone uh maybe smoothing out skin or eye whitening teeth whitening etc etc but it goes way above that do you know you can actually use action for actually where you're color grading and sometimes you actually color grade a picture and next time you actually try to achieve that same result you will be unable to do so but with your actions you can actually just do that perfectly by recording a step of how you did the color grading so i'll be using that in this video i'll be color grading these three pictures i will only be color grading one i'm going to record the action for everything now we're showing you how to actually record the action and what to do and what not to do while recording an action so with no further ado let's jump into action so this picture i'll be opening them without doing anything without tampering with the camera real settings i'll just have to open them directly in my photoshop so i'm going to highlight everything and i'm going to open them in my photoshop and wait for them to load up so once it does we are going to actually walking through on how to actually bring in action and actual actually images of action also so our pictures are still loading so the first thing we actually need to do right now is to crop our picture to the size we want so cropping of picture you actually need to crop your picture before you start your action you cannot add your cropping to your action or you can crop after you actually finish playing the action but make sure whenever you're creating an action make sure you don't include anything that has to do with crop or anything that has to do with a specialized area probably clean off a particular area in the picture it actually works for general pictures that's why they tend to use it for mostly uh retouching and also if it's eye whitening they actually create a mask to actually apply that on it so the first thing i'll just have to crop my picture to the size i want so here is the size i want i'll click on my ok so i'll wait for it to load up once it does then if you actually don't know where your actions are you just have to come down to your window on that window uh search for it once you click alt f9 it's going to load it up for you but my action is already over here and you might actually discover that the way my action is right now is colorized if you open your action your yours might not be this way so if you actually want to get yours to actually be like this just click on this three option here and click on button mode but note once you click on this button mode you won't be able to record action on that process so once you turn it off back here's how the action actually look like you can see right now so here's what it look like right now so to actually create an action right now all i just need to do right now is just to click on new on this layer over here and i'm going to name it best color grading x color so i'm going to set it under my reflex file then the function key you can assign the function key to do that whenever i click in for sure key on your pc it's going to actually play the action for you without you needing to do anything so let's leave the function key for now and color which color do you want the action to be in so probably let's go with the green right now so I'll, i whenever i just want to play my action i will see the green color on it i'll know that's the action i want to play so let's click on record that being said right now you can now start recording your picture the first thing as you all know i just like duplicating my picture by clicking on ctrl j then the first thing i'll go to my filter then i'll go to camera arrow i'll wait for it to load up i'll wait for it to load up then i'm going to start with my exposure and increase my exposure a little bit my highlight i'm going to bring down my highlight i'll bring down my white my shadow i'll bring it up then i'll go to my color under my color the temperature i'll bring it down so it will be just ready for my liking i'm going to bring it down this way i'll bring it down like this so the saturation also i'll bring the saturation down a little bit as you can see right now once i'm done with that i'll just go you can actually mix so many color i'm just trying to mix just the particular color just to actually show you what i want to show you in this picture so you can go extreme higher in adding your colors to your picture so the next thing i'll be doing is to come to my H my color mixer under that i'll go to the hsl adjustment so 
under my orange i'll go to this uh, i'll go to saturation first under my orange i'm going to increase my orange color the yellow i'll bring down the yellow the green i'll bring down the green then i'll go to my hue under my green i'm going to drag it like this you can see my yellow also you can see right now here is the before and here is the after what you just did right now so go back to my saturation again let's just bring it up a little bit let's bring it up let's bring it up a little bit just to beautify our picture here's the before and here's the after of our picture right now so let's say we're actually done with our color grading right now in camera row just have to click on ok to open our picture back into photoshop and boom here's what we have right now so i can just go to my adjustment layer again don't forget we are still recording our action and it's actually playing for us right now let's go to my adjustment layer i'll click on my solid, solid my color lookup click on low 3d loads i'll go to scroll down and i'm going to pick my natural look and boom let me see i'm done my color grading right now and the best thing you actually need to do while doing something like this please make sure you actually don't match every layer together leave the layer the way it is or you can do better by just grouping the layer you actually work on leaving the background layer alone so let me select the two layer i work on which is this both layer you can work up to six seven layer if you feel like depending on how vast your editing process is so i'll just have to click on my ctrl g and group the both together right now then i'll just go and go back to my action again and i'm going to stop the action this time around i've created my action right now so let me close it up and turn my action back to the way it was at before just have to click on the four dot over here now click on my button mode let's scroll down and see what you have to be done as you can see here is my first color right now so now let's apply that on our remaining two picture and see if it's going to work out i'm going to click on the second picture right now firstly i have to crop out click on my ok then i'm going to click on this action and wait for it to load up let's see if it's going to do what it did in the other picture for us let's see and boom it actually did the same thing here's the before and here's the after i don't even need to stress myself out with just a pre-recorded action i actually just achieve color grading in no time i can go way ahead of this i can go way beyond this but this is just to show you what you can actually do with your actions and how it actually work and it's not limited to just retouching the room there are vast a variety of options you can actually use there so let's go to the last picture also let's crop also let's click on our crop too and do the same thing my first color i'll click on it and wait for it to load up and boom also again as you can see the color is going to harmonize it's going to be the same similar color for everything since the exposure and everything is the same thing so i hope this video helped a lot if you actually do don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also on the notification icon if you have any question you can contact me we'll get back to you as soon as possible see you guys in my next tutorial reflex out